What other things did you take away from your magazine uh, study? Other things you had to do besides photos? Um, one thing I learned is that a lot of people start travel, they go, I'm gonna take a big trip around the world. And then their trip ends and their site dies. One thing I realized was, if I just keep doing this and don't give up, I'll probably succeed. Uh, the other thing was, you know, always answer your email. I, I, you know, I won't, I won't say that I'm successful at it all the time, but I try to answer every email someone asks me about a question. Uh, are you, I live in India, are you gonna come to India so you can stay in my place? Um, and I say, well, no, I haven't been there yet, but I do want to come there. When I do, I'll definitely, you know. Uh, part of the story, you know, storytelling isn't just writing, it's just talking to people. And so I meet, I do meetups now. Uh, whenever I go to a new city, I will, you know, it's answering questions to people. And Twitter, which was not really a big deal when I started traveling, has become a big deal as well. Uh, and a lot of it's sharing. So many people, I didn't mention this, uh, if you've been reading my site, my dad got put in the hospital and I kind of had to put on my travel plans. So many of you have come to me this weekend and said, how's your dad doing? You know, and it's just sharing this kind of stuff because I'm not, you know, I'm not a magazine, I'm a guy. And things happen to me. And how many of you, when you go on trips in the back of your head, it's like, well, what if grandma dies? What am I gonna do when I'm far away? And that's just, that's part of it. And just be real and, and be open and talk to people. Go ahead. Hi, Gary. Um, how is Smudge Mode better than Blitz? Can you be more specific? Oh, um, it, it's built by photographers. They're very cool about uh, rights. I can change the, like when I moved from 600 to 1,000 pixels wide, all I had to do was one search and replace in my entire site and upgrade all the images. Because in the URL tag, it will, uh, you can specify any size to the pixel. So if you want exactly 247 pixel wide image, you can do that. It's really designed for photographers. You can sell prints through the site. Uh, if you, you know those move cards that everyone's given out, those little skinny ones, you get free, 50 free move cards if you're a SmugMug Pro. Uh, they do lots of things. Um, how much is it? How much is SmugMug? Oh, much it's, is it I think it's 150 a year. So it is an investment. You pay about 10 bucks a month, a little bit more, 12. Uh, but, so it's not for everyone, I get that, but I love it. And if you do have a lot of photos, it's well worth it. Right over there. Uh, Beth. Do you do anything to uh, compress your images? Never. Your, you don't? No. Nope. You don't have any problems, especially with the larger ones, where it's kind of painting? Yeah, if you're on a slow connection, my site will probably suck. <laughs> 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 that's just something I, no, I accept it. Trust me, when I'm traveling and I try to book my site sometimes, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just that's a trade-off that I, 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 I'm willing to accept, because I'd rather have the, the good images. Are you back there? Um, yeah, I feel like, like when you're traveling, and for me, I also travel with my family, so managing a dog and a young kid, but those, like, the best moments that I want to share, I'm not going to waste my time even picking up my phone camera. Like, I don't want to do that. There's a lot of tips, like, how do you still get photographs. Get rid of your I'm gonna, family and your pets. <laughs> 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 Carrie, I'm going to repeat it back because the live stream is working. So how do, how do, what are your tips for actually doing photographs while you're traveling? Uh, you got it. Uh, I, I don't claim to, to photograph everything. I will go out for a day with my camera, my tripod, and I'm going to go out and be a photographer that day. Uh, but I'm not carrying my camera with me all the time. I'm not shooting pictures of food all the time. Maybe I should, because people really like food stuff. And food porn, that's a good one for next year. Uh, but, but I don't do a lot of that. And you know, it's just a balance you have to, some people are in photographer mode, they're taking pictures of everything, and sometimes you're not. Right. Uh, you've been trying longer. We're back there. I just want to know, Gary, what what are your favorite uh, iPhone apps for for cam for? What are the best what? iPhone apps for taking photos? Um, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, Photoshop for iPhone is out there, which will let you do basic adjustments of uh, exposure and, and cropping and things like that. Um, the iPhone camera is not the, uh, at least I should say the 3G 3GS camera is not the best. The new iPhone 4 camera, from what I've heard, is much better. And another note, don't worry about pixels or megapixels when you buy a camera. The Boston.com uh, picture, that's a thousand pixels wide. If it's a three by two image, that means it's gonna be slightly under uh, around 1.7 megapixels. 
you're probably never going to put anything bigger than that online, which means any camera you buy will be sufficient megapixels for anything you do. Sensor size and how it handles low light situations is far more important than, meg than megapixels. It was a simple thing for uh, manufacturers to say, oh, we have four megapixels, we have five megapixels, five better than four, so it doesn't matter anymore. It does not matter. And in fact, we're closely getting, we're quickly getting to a point that our cell phone cameras are going to be good enough that you don't need to carry around a uh, point and shoot camera. But you mentioned Pano. Is there anything else? I've used Pano, but I'm wondering if you, if you like any others. I don't use a lot of, I download a lot, but I don't really use them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last question. Anyone? John and Jen. How about copyright? Are you worried about that? And you're worried no. about copyright? Um, anyone here is welcome to use any photo on my site. Just provide a link. Um, you, can, you can drive yourself crazy worrying about that. And I just, I don't. I, I made it very simple. If you want to use one of my photos, you're free to do so. All you got to do is I ask that you put a link uh, back to me and saying this is Gary's photo. Um, it's Good link you know, building. We're, yeah, we're online, and it's you got to kind of live in that environment. And uh, the only thing I'm, I, is occasionally I've had a couple of people ask me for stuff in print. Uh, the UNESCO World Heritage Magazine wanted to, to print one of my, and I was like, that's fine, but you put a link somewhere on, somewhere under the un.org thing, because Google loves that, um, <laughs> uh, for SEO, and that, that's all I really care about. That's fine. Uh, not yet. I don't think the publisher should either, so. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Next panel, we're doing a travel writing ethics panel. You know who you are. Come up.